Hello fellow gamers and welcome. Today we're diving into the spine chilling world of Little Nightmares 2. Developed as a prequel to the original, this puzzle platform horror adventure game takes us on a nightmarish journey through the mysterious Pale City. As we step into the shoes of Mono, a character shrouded in mystery, we'll be joined by a strange companion to face the horrors that await us. From atmospheric visuals to mind-bending puzzles, Little Nightmares 2 promises a thrilling and unsettling experience. So buckle up and prepare for a descent into the eerie unknown. In the eerie tale, Mono, a young boy concealing his identity with a paper bag, awakens from a haunting dream featuring a door, a bond with an eye at the far end of a desolate hallway. Venturing through the wilderness, he stumbles upon a dilapidated shack. Within its decaying walls, Mono liberates an unnamed character, unjustly held captive by the masked hunter dwelling there. The unyielding pursuit of the hunter drives the duo to a chilling face-off, a confrontation that climaxes into a fatal encounter. Their desperate struggle leads to a dreadful resolution as they silence the hunter with an unforgiving blast of a shotgun. Crafting a makeshift raft from an unlikely source, a door, Mono and his unusual partner navigate a mysterious body of water, eventually finding themselves washed ashore at the perplexing Pale City. This urban landscape is obscured by mist and rain, and its streets are strewn with relics of the past in the form of old television sets. As Mono continues his harrowing journey, he persistently endeavours to utilise televisions as portals, yearning to breach the elusive hallway from his haunting dream. Yet each time he inches closer, the unnamed character intervenes, pulling him back just before he reaches the mysterious door. The peculiar struggle between Mono and the dreams beckoning passage unfolds as a recurring theme. Amidst the eerie landscape, Mono also comes across spectral echoes of children, ghostly glitching remnants suspended in the unknown. In a peculiar twist, he finds the ability to absorb these ethereal entities through interactive encounters, further deepening the enigma shrouding his unsettling adventure. As Mono and the mysterious unnamed character step into the ominous school, their unity is shattered when the porcelain bullies, the rabid students of the institution, capture the companion. In a daring rescue, Mono frees the unnamed character, and together they navigate the perilous halls, evading the watchful eyes of the long-necked teacher. This peculiar educator possesses a chilling ability to extend her neck to extraordinary lengths enabling her to peer into inaccessible areas. Mono learns the importance of silence, as any noise can instantly alert the teacher, prompting a meticulous investigation into the source. The suspense builds as Mono and the unnamed character maneuver through the school, constantly mindful of the teacher's eerie presence. Exiting the confines of the school, the narrative takes an intriguing turn as Six discovers her unmistakable yellow raincoat, a symbolic moment that hints at her deeper connections within the unsettling world that transverse. Entering the haunting realm of the hospital, Mono and Six encounter the eerie patients, who resemble mannequins with detached living hands. Their quest takes a turn as Mono embarks on a journey to locate the second fuse for the main elevator. Along the way, Mono faces challenges such as distracting patients by manipulating light and avoiding their grasping appendages. Transversing through the hospital corridors, Mono encounters a chilling scene where patients' arms burst through the cell doors, forcing him to navigate carefully to escape. The tension rises as legless patients break free from their confines, prompting Mono to climb to safety and avoid their pursuit. The narrative intensifies with the introduction of the bulbous doctor, who crawls on the ceiling, 
adding an element of horror to Mono's quest for the elevator fuse. In the pursuit of their goal, Mono must clearly distract and outwit the patients and the doctor to progress. Descending in an elevator, Mono and Six find themselves amidst numerous inactive patients in the morgue, some undergoing unsettling operations supervised by the doctor. The duo must remain unseen while attempting to secure a fuse, leading to a tense encounter with a still breathing patient. Mono's resourcefulness comes into play as he decides to shut down its life support, distracting the doctor and allowing them to proceed. The journey takes a darker turn as Mono and Six confront the doctor in an incinerator, choosing to dispose of him. Emerging from the hospital, they find themselves in the heart of Pale City, with a signal tower looming in the distance. Now, the tower controls the city's inhabitants, the TV-addicted viewers, whose distorted faces reveal the impact of prolonged exposure to its perversive transmission. As Mono finally reaches the door through a television set, it opens to reveal the spectral Thin Man. A chilling moment unfolds as Mono is pulled out of the television, and the Thin Man captures Six, leaving behind a glitching shadow. Guided by Six's glitching shadow, Mono follows it to the signal tower, where a confrontation with the Thin Man ensues. Unveiling powers akin to the Thin Man's, Mono disintegrates him in a battle and astonishingly pulls the tower towards himself. The story takes a compelling turn, leaving us on the edge of our seats, eager to unravel the mysteries that lie ahead. Inside, an otherworldly scene unfolds, a supernatural realm bathed in eerie magenta lights, where objects defy gravity, suspended mid-air. A haunting melody permeates the air, echoing through the rooms and hallways adorned with furniture. From armchairs to deformed drawers scattered in every corner, mysterious doors act as portals connecting different realms within the tower. Within this surreal environment, Mono discovers Six, now distorted into a giant form. The atmosphere turns tense as Mono damages Six's music box triggering her hostility. However, by destroying the music box, Mono manages to restore Six to her normal state. The implementing collapse of the city tower initiates a chase, with the children pursued by a grotesque mask of flesh and eyes at the tower's core. They manage to outrun it, but the narrative takes a dark turn, as Six betrays Mono causing him to plunge into a chasm. Six escapes through a television portal, leaving Mono alone and surrounded by the encroaching mass. In solitude, Mono resigns himself to his fate, sitting in a solitary chair as the gelatinous mass engulfs him. Time passes and Mono undergoes a transformation, aging and growing taller while succumbing to the corrupting influence of the signal tower. The one's young protagonist metamorphoses into the thin man, now an adult. In a poignant scene, the adult Mono sits in the room at the end of the hallway from his reoccurring dream, and the door closes, concluding his haunting tale of darkness and transformation. And that concludes our journey into the eerie world of Little Nightmares 2. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more spine tingling content and ring that notification bell to stay up to date. Share your thoughts and theories on your own creepy experiences in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this chilling adventure, until next time, may your nightmares only be in pixels.